Hey, it's Dr. Scala from Balanced Living Chiropractic. This is the cold and flu season. This is the earache season, the ear infection season, the upper respiratory season. And so uh, today I want to cover uh, how chiropractic care can help you eliminate having any of those issues, or if you do get them, how we can help you get rid of those without having the antibiotics, without having um, prolonged symptoms, uh, stuff like that. And so when we're talking about upper respiratory stuff, we're gonna be looking at the upper back, we're also gonna be looking at the lower part of your neck. Uh, also, no matter what, the atlas, because that's where, what's involved in everything in your body. Uh, and then also when we're talking about earaches, you're talking about the mid neck and the upper neck, because that's where the nerves are gonna go into there. And also that's where the bones are gonna come into uh, contact possibly with the eustachian tube, which then can um, block the eustachian tube. So. Uh, I've seen recently on Facebook with just a bunch of friends of mine, uh, we've, I've seen two, uh, two of their little uh, babies having to get um, ear uh, tubes in their ears, uh, which thankfully that's a, a pretty minor procedure, uh, but also chiropractic care can a lot of times take care of uh, the eustachian tube being blocked because that's what the uh, tubes in the ears are doing is they're opening up the eustachian tube so then it can drain a lot and we can do that simply by working on the neck uh, to get that to open up so we can avoid having the tubes and so I'm going to go ahead and break down exactly how this all works in terms of the eustachian tube issue. Uh, I have some diagrams here and so I'm going to put the camera on to that here shortly uh, and again with if you're having upper respiratory sinus issues we're going to look to the upper neck, the mid neck, the upper back because those are gonna be the areas that are gonna go into uh, those organs. And if we can control those organs uh, or the nerves that are going to those organs uh, and keep them healthy, you're gonna stay healthy. So stay tuned here. We're gonna switch camera uh, onto our diagrams and we're gonna uh, go ahead and explain a little bit more about how the eustachian tube and ear stuff works. All right, so here is a picture of, uh, a dissected picture of the atlas and the ear canal area, the brain stem. So you're gonna see the brain stem is right here. This is the atlas bone. Uh, this right here is the eustachian tube. Uh, dissected, it does go further down. Uh, again, these parts are all dissected. They're not actually where they're supposed to be, but I'm using this kind of for um, explanation purposes. And so uh, what we have, again, when you have an ear infection, the middle ear and then going into the eustachian tube gets blocked and you get fluid going on in here. And over time, that fluid then gets um, bacteria built into here, and that's going to inflame the tissues and cause um, the symptoms of the ear infection. Uh, and so what we need to do is open up this tube so then the fluid does not get stuck in there. If you don't have any fluid stuck in there, then you don't have any ear infection issues. And so if you're having chronic persistent uh, ear infections like a lot of little ones do, most likely there's something blocking that eustachian tube. And uh, from what I see on a regular basis, what that what's blocking that eustachian tube is going to be this atlas bone right here. So let me switch diagrams uh, for you. Here's a little bit better uh, description. So again, you can see here is the ear canal. Here is into the, here's your eardrum. We go into our middle ear, and then here's the eustachian tube. And you can see I've drawn in the atlas bone. So this is basically how you're going to see um, in real time anatomy uh, how it's uh, blocking there. So if this atlas bone is either shifted too far that way, or if it's rotated forwards, or is it rotated backwards, that's enough to put pressure onto this eustachian tube, which then blocks it up, you get fluid built up, and there is your ear infection over time. And so what we do, or with what any chiropractor does, is we go ahead, position this bone back into the right position. That's gonna take pressure off of the eardrum and the eustachian tube. We can also do an ear adjustment, which then changes the pressure in through this area, which would flush out any bacteria. And those two things together goes ahead and solves uh, the chronic ear infection uh, quandary that we have on a regular basis. Uh, a lot of times these kids with chronic ear infections are also gonna have, uh, they were born with colic, they were born with torticollis, they maybe had uh, projectile, projectile vomiting and acid reflux when they were a kid. And then that, that right there tells you that right off the bat, there was an atlas issue. So uh, hope that helps you. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more and more in-depth explanations uh, for everybody so they can learn what true chiropractic care is all about and how we can keep you healthy.